Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is topic 8.1 of the Apes Review videos, Sources of Pollution. So, um, in the last section we were talking about air pollution and now we're going to be talking about uh, land and water pollution. And so, one of the ways we try to identify these things is by looking at where they come from. So, we look at non-point versus point sources. Point sources are easy to define because you can say you can point to it and say this is where it's coming from, at that spot. A non-point source is going to be something that's hard to identify. Think about pesticide spraying or urban runoff or uh, something that has many different sources. So because of that, you can't really identify where they come from. So if you look at a waste discharge pipe, then that's going to be something that's more of a point source. And then if you look at something like air pollution in general, that tends to be kind of a non-point source because you can have different locations, but it can come from different spaces as well. So pretty much your classic example is if you take a look at a river system. So this is the Mississippi River. And if you take a look, it's got many tributaries that go along the way and have to identify exactly where they come from. So you know, if you're at the end of that river at the Gulf of Mexico, you can't really say, well, this comes from this spot specifically or that spot specifically. It comes from all over. So that's a non-point example. So we've got to make sure to keep that in mind when you're looking at that on an AP question. So here are some sources that are hopefully going to be helpful in this, and hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.